morning um, <clears throat> as I'm heading to Malta, uh, entering Valletta Harbor. It's a bit uh, Foggy, but you can see because I'm inside of a catamaran and the uh, glass is a bit uh, messed up. But this is the capital city, Milan. And surrounding cities of Slima, St. Julian's. But entering the harbor from, uh, it's called the Grand Harbor into Valletta is a site worth uh, worth recording so I uh, again apologize for the quality here but I am inside of the I am inside of the catamaran View. We are now entered the Grand Harbor. If you Google it, uh, you will see all the history about it. on the outside of the glass and not the inside. You can see the <clears throat> fortifications. Uh, Valletta is the largest fortified city uh, in Europe. It was built in uh, 15, 1600s after the Turkish siege. Unfortunately, after surviving the Turkish siege, it was uh, basically overrun by the French without even firing a shot. They <clears throat> welcomed Napoleon uh, as an ally, and as soon as his ships docked and his soldiers landed, he did what uh, every Napoleon does and just uh, took over so uh, now we're kind of coming into you'll see around the corner here in just a second and again nothing to do with Congals but uh, some of you have really enjoyed the uh, scenery Here's the cruise liner terminals. Uh, the Grand Harbor is the largest deep water port, natural deep water port in the world, as far as I know. I could be wrong, so always feel free to correct me. Uh, but this is a view that uh, you don't always get because normally the normal ferry cross crosses just between the two islands on the other side. So this is a I'm on the fast ferry, which takes 45 minutes from uh, Gozo to Malta. And uh, let me back off a bit of it here now. There we go. If you have any questions about Malta, not that I'm an expert, but I would be happy to answer anything that I know about this island. It is really an amazing place. There are many stories, uh, as it was the center of the world, really, when uh, the Mediterranean was first being uh, popu popularized by uh, the Phoenicians, the Carthaginians, uh, 
obviously the Romans were here for a very long time. The culture here is is almost like in, in steps. When you go to a museum, you're like going through uh, a time tunnel of cultures from uh, the early Phoenicians and Carthaginians to the Romans, to the Arabs, uh, the French for a very short time, and then uh, the British who were colonized Malta uh, and were in World War II, during World War II, which make, uh, made, has another chapter of uh, tremendous history for us. So I will stop here. Again, thank you uh, for watching. And uh, if you have any questions about the island, uh, as, a, as a person that's lived here for 30 years myself, I'll be happy to answer anything that I know. Thank you. Good day. Hey everybody, it's Mike, the Kango Whisperer. <laughs> uh, I'm in Malta today on the main island and I just wanted to show you uh, some nice views of the island. First I'm going to show you what's behind me. This is called the Baraka, which is the, uh, uh, it's overlooking the Grand Harbor. It's been here since the night, since the 15, 1600s. And uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, flip the camera uh, while I'm recording, which is kind of cool with this phone, and uh, give you a view of the Grand Harbor, which is what we entered when we came with the ferry. So here we go. This is the Grand Harbor. This is what was right behind me. Okay. And we're overlooking uh, one of the most famous harbors uh, in the world. It is the uh, only deep water natural harbor that I know of, or to that extent. Um, you have three cities here. You have the uh, forts of St. Angelo and St. Michael. And uh, over this way we have the, uh, the uh, cruise line docks and uh, where they um, stop to unload the passengers so this is uh, been here uh, it, there's a famous story about the great siege of Malta in 1565 uh, about this harbor if you want to google it there is also I'll zoom in now a bit okay so uh, there's also uh, during World War II there was a famous uh, uh, it was kind of a mess here in, in, in the 1940 41 part. We were sieged by the Germans. Uh, people were basically starving. Uh, food and, and fuel were running out. We started out with three World War II biplanes uh, to defend the whole island, which wasn't good, com you know, going up against Messerschmitts and, uh, and uh, the German. Um, air, the German air, air power, but we survived, and the three planes are actually all survived. None of them were shot down, <laughs> miraculously enough. In the meantime, <clears throat> we were eventually reinforced with Spitfires and Hurricanes. And if you want to see a great movie about it, it's called the ba the uh, the Malta Story, uh, old black and white movie, classic. So, anyway, uh, just a quick view of where I live, and uh, well, on the main island of where I live. And I hope you're enjoying this. Take care. So here's where I was just a few seconds ago and now I'm going to pan over. I moved over to the corner so you can see the harbor entrance, the Grand Harbor. That small fort there, which I'll zoom in on, is called St. Elmo. It was here before Valletta was built and it took the brunt of the Great Siege. Uh, there was a, a, it was a delaying action. Many brave knights and uh, militia fought and died there. Uh, trying to hold the fort as long as possible. It was a delaying action, so they knew they were not going to make it out of there. And it bought us time to fortify uh, the, the Sant'Angelo, which is this uh, uh, this fortification here, and also uh, St. Michael, which is the other fortification. And it also bought us time, obviously, to get uh, some reinforcement from, uh, from Sicily and uh, from the Pope. Uh, it's an amazing book. It's called The Great Siege of Malta, if you ever want to read about it. 
I don't know how Mel Gibson has not decided to make a movie about it because it would be a blockbuster. And here we have the uh, cruise line terminal, uh, so you can see where the cruise liners go. The, uh, the dry docks are over there, uh, where they do the repairs. And uh, further past where you're looking is where the container ships come in. It's called the Freeport. So there's an elevator here, which will take us down from where I am, the upper Baraka, and all the way down. I hope you guys don't get uh, too, too dizzy. Uh, down to the water line basically to where the waterfront is so, uh, Again nothing to do with Kangles, but I, I I Couldn't help but put this on here, and I really hope and I'm sure some of you will enjoy this take care Have a great day This is the uh, <clears throat> main fountain at the heart of Valletta actually at the entrance of Valletta Let me see if I can zoom out of it. There we go uh, and then zoom in and uh, it's a, it's a landmark here. It's been here since, I think, before the war, actually. Uh, it's also where the buses are, the bus terminal. And you can see now I'm outside of the city, well, at least outside of the fortification of the city. So I'm just going to go around really quick. They're setting up for a uh, digital art concert. Don't, don't ask me what that is. I'm not big into art. Uh, and uh, But this is a beautiful place here as well. Hope you like it. So here we are in uh, Queen Victoria Square, that's her statue there. I'll try to get it, get it later. Uh, where this uh, very famous place uh, called Cafe Cordina. Uh, it's been here since 1837. Uh, and they're famous for their, obviously, their coffee, pastries, and uh, whatever else you, you're in the mood for, including, of course, lunches and uh, pastries, as I said. So, um, it's 3.30, uh, 3 I guess, yeah. And uh, I'm going to be heading back down to the ferry soon. Uh, so I just wanted to stop and have a, an amazing cappuccino and a cheesecake. A ricotta cheesecake, which is uh, very famous in Malta. Uh, so again, uh, hope you're enjoying this kind of break from the doggies. And uh, uh, we'll be back on this channel <laughs> with the doggies again very soon. We're heading back to Gozo now. I can't move the camera because it's right up against the window because there's the splash of the water. We're on a catamaran fast ferry which takes 45 minutes. We're leaving the Grand Harbor. Um, again, I'm going to leave this on just for maybe another minute so you can enjoy the, the view. If you missed it on the previous video, this is where they shot the Count of Monte Cristo uh, opening of the movie. So this is uh, the eastern, uh, that would be the eastern coast of Malta. Uh, we're looking at uh, Slima, St. Julian's, 
and uh, pretty soon you're going to see our version of the uh, Twin Towers, <laughs> which is uh, one uh, that's uh, where the Hilton Hotel is and has been for a very long time. Let me zoom in a bit. Yeah, that's better. And uh, the other one is a brand new tower called the Mercury Tower uh, being developed. But at least you can see uh, the skyline here. I'm trying to get the, a clearer picture. It's not easy because the glass of the catamaran is uh, splashed with, with water spots. So, But uh, I'm doing the best I can. Uh, I really, I really like being able to show you guys Malta, and uh, I'm sure some of you, or a few of you, might have been here. Some might be interested in coming to visit, and if you do, uh, feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Uh, I'm not a tour guide, but I, I've been here now uh, for 23 years, so uh, I can tell you a little bit about the place. And it would be a very nice holiday, especially if you spend most of your time in Gozo, because Malta has become very congested and crowded, unfortunately. Whereas Gozo, it's still, uh, it's still nice and quiet, or s relatively quiet. of development going on uh, this island has become a a revolution of uh, construction flats apartments townhouses uh, you know high-rise apartments uh, the real estate has become very expensive here it didn't used to be uh, but just like any other developing country I guess uh, we have to go through this unfortunately uh, as most human beings tend to do we're uh, I, I believe the government and the uh, development people are overdoing it. But nothing I can do about that. Okay, so this will be it. Signing off just off the coast of uh, the island of Malta, heading home to my beautiful Kangals in Gozo.